stomach issue that's been plaguing him apparently for a good few weeks. He needed to take a game off. Here's Adam. Blocked away with McGowan picking up though. Back away to Adam, swings it in, McGee's in there! It's a goal! That is Jordan McGee as Hearts claim for an offside. I have to say my initial instinct was that he was offside, but the assistant didn't flag. And Jordan McGee celebrates a goal against his former side. And Dundee have the advantage. The early play deserves. You know, it's all about the ball, though. We'll see if he's offside in a second. You want to deliver it as a forward player or a midfielder maker. And look at that delivery on the money. And he doesn't disappoint with the header either. There's Jordan McGee. You can see him hovering around the background. Kingsley doesn't really see him. He's onside. It's a great run. I think it's Berat's playing him on. But the delivery is unbelievable. But the finish, is, finish isn't too bad either. Look at that. No chance for Craig Gordon that time as James McPake's men go in front. And you're right, Billy, he was onside. It's just uh, the quality of the ball and the timing of the run. Yes. Marshall's kept that one in. Here's Charlie Adam. Haring sticking with him. Adam puts it through his legs. It provides a good looking cross. Oh, it's another goal. And it's Danny Mullen. Well, Craig Gordon's denied him once. And it looked like he might just about have kept him out again. But well, there was enough power in the header to find the back of the net. And Robbie Nielsen's hearts find themselves two goals down. That's just magnificent, it really is. I mean, Charlie Adam, I'm sure there's a little nutmeg in Haring as well. You're letting it go. But then the quality. And that's twice now, he stood up, really good header from Mullen, down low, solid header, puts Dundee 2-0 up, but it's all about Charlie Adam, isn't it? Strong, could have backheeled it, little nutmeg, and then that delivery, look at that, it's just delicious, isn't it? Right onto the head of Mullen, two bullet headers to put Dundee 2 up. Fourth goal of the season for Danny Mullen, really powerful header. And even Craig Gordon couldn't keep that one out. The Hearts have it all to do. Nine minutes left of the first half. For Hearts. Sent in by Robertson. Oh, it's a penalty kick. Don Robertson has uh, seen a foul in there. Christoph Berra, the man, penalised. And he had absolutely no doubt. They immediately pointed to the spot. And Dundee have a huge chance to surely seal the points. Yeah, he's got to hold, hold the Ashcroft, I'm sure, as you can see him. Ashcroft has got wrong side of him. Feels a little tug in the shirt and goes to ground. Better angle here, you can see Berra got a grip of him. In fact, Berra's got a grip of Cami Kerr, but Ashcroft hits the deck as well. It looks to be amused, but I think it was a right call when you see that. It's going to be Jonathan Afalabi. Up against Craig Gordon. Is this to seal the victory for Dundee? Scores Afalabi. And surely now, with less than seven minutes on the clock, Dundee have wrapped up the three points and having been beaten on penalties by Celtic in the Scottish Cup final, it's a Celtic on loan player who has tucked the spot kick past Craig Gordon here. And he's done it well, hasn't he? I mean, we know the, the record Craig Gordon has with penalty stops, but he's got no chance of that one. He'll be a relieved man. His team have been under pressure this second half, but they've dug in. And they get that third goal. Could be so important, but what a well-taken penalty kick that is from Afalabi.